How's it going guys? Joshua Lufemi here, live from Los Angeles, California. And we are continuing our series here on the channel where we're talking about the future of video editing, diving into Runway ML, which is a really cool browser-based video editing platform that I'm gonna show you how to use right now. I've had the pleasure of quietly seeing Runway ML from behind the scenes for I'd say the past year. Went to New York, got to check out kind of what they're doing in the offices. I'll tell you, the stuff that they have planned for the future, the very near future, to completely transform the world of video editing is pretty crazy. And I want to tell you what we're going to view here in their video editing platform called SQL is only a tiny bit of what they have planned, stuff that's going to be releasing in the next few months. SQL is what Runway ML actually calls its video editing online browser-based platform. It's pretty cool. I'd say that right now it is very much geared towards beginners. So if you are a beginner, someone that really doesn't really like video editing, but you're someone that really wants to just easily create really cool, you know, effects and edits for social media, you're kind of scared at this point to deal with, you know, more sophisticated VFX software or more sophisticated professional video editing software, then this is exactly what you need. I'm going to say right now, that if you are a professional video editor, you've been doing video editing for years, you may log on to SQL and see a few things lacking that you just can't quite do yet. But I want to tell you that the amount of intelligence, the machine learning, the AI that is built and that is in the back end of this product is so incredible and so above any other type of video editing platform that we've seen so far to just hold on because these features are coming. Like literally this thing is being updated by the day, by the month. I've seen seen some of the features that they're going to include into SQL literally crazy, crazy soon. And it is blowing my mind away. I don't know how many I can actually share, but I might allude to a few. So I'll say this, whether you are a beginner, an intermediate or professional editor, SQL is a video editing platform that you really need to keep your eye on. Alrighty, let's get started. I'm here at runwayml.com and I'm going to log in. I think it's gonna automatically log me in because I've already created an account. But if you don't have an account, all you gotta do is sign up. It's crazy easy. We're gonna go and I'm gonna show you that Runway ML is separated into two big sections. There's SQL, which is the video editing online browser-based software that you can use to video edit. And then there's ML Lab, which we're not gonna go into in this tutorial, but ML Lab is truly where Runway ML is able to showcase the full breadth of its machine learning capabilities. But right now we're gonna focus right on SQL because SQL is its own behemoth. Let's go. So we're gonna click on SQL. I'm going to go to new project. All right, we have our basic interface here. It seems pretty familiar. We have our timeline with our playhead. We have uh, our assets for video, assets for images, and assets for audio. We can actually bring new assets into any of these bins by clicking on the plus button. And I want to use B1. So it's gonna upload. The cool thing about Runway ML is everything that you edit with, any type of footage, assets of any kind, video, audio, needs to be uploaded from your computer onto the Runway ML server. This is a massive benefit being that SQL is a browser-based editor because it doesn't really matter how powerful your computer is because all of this footage and processing and VFX work is it being done on the computer, weighing down your graphics card, your processor, all this stuff. It's being done in the cloud, on the web. So you could theoretically be on some crappy computer like a Google Chromebook and be editing 4k footage doing all these cool vfx effects to it we are going to choose b1 that we just uploaded let's bring it down into our timeline and then i want to show you that any footage that's in your timeline is going to be in this clips folder so this is kind of your local project bin you could call it where all of your local clips are cool let's play through this real quick beautiful if I could just direct your attention to the right side of the screen, I'm going to pinpoint a very important thing that you need to know as far as the interface goes. The difference between clip properties and scenes. Basically, if you are clicked on a clip, you're gonna have all of the different parameters and effects that you can apply to that clip show up on the right side of the screen. If you are not clicked on a clip, but you're just clicked in the timeline in general, you're gonna then see that this changes to the scene properties. This is going to basically be referring to resolution or aspect ratio of the actual screen. As you can see, we want to be working in a project that's 1920 by 1080, and therefore the aspect ratio 
remains 1920-1080. We could also change the size of the project that we're working on by changing it in format. So we kind of, this is almost like a preset. So we could either do full HD, 2K, 4K, wide, 4K square. We can also change the background color, which is the color of the background that's underneath this footage. And it's that simple. So what I want to do is I want to actually click on this clip. I'm going to show you a few different parameters that you can change just like any video editor you can change the position in the x and the y direction it's control z to undo that you can control the size smaller or bigger you can control the rotation you can control the opacity you can control the blend mode to whatever you want and if you scroll down you have these really cool magic tools we're going to really dive into this in just a sec using green screen but apart from that um, you can throw in any type of effects that you want into the footage there's all sorts of effects um, you can scroll down here and check out some of these pretty cool random effects that you can add on here. We're not going to really deal with that in this tutorial. The next thing I want to do is I want to show you what we're going to actually do in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a video where there are multiple basketball players dunking all on the same clip. So what we're essentially going to do is we're going to make a composite, meaning we're going to cut this basketball player out and then we're going to duplicate them and then delay the footage a little bit and then place it back on the original footage so that there's a continuous person always ducking a basketball. It's going to be really cool. Let's get started. First things first, we got to duplicate this footage. We're going to right click and we're going to do duplicate. We're going to then bring the footage right on top. And then I'm going to make sure this footage is clicked on the top one and then I'm going to do green screen. And I'm going to show you how intelligent green screen is when we're using it to cut something out. Whenever I'm rotoscoping something out, I usually begin with include. Basically, if you click on include and then you click on your footage, anything that you click will be rotoscoped out. And as you can see, it only took one click. It intelligently rotoscoped and selected this entire image, this entire person, including the basketball. We're going to see how well this rotoscope stuck. We're going to go all the way through. And wow, look how intelligent this is. Going pretty well. I'm gonna, okay, I see an issue right here. So I'm gonna actually place another green dot, another include green dot, perfect. And as you can see, we have a keyframe here that was created. Keep going a tiny bit. And that is a pretty clean, that looks pretty clean to me. All you gotta do is go back and we're gonna see how this looks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this clip underneath this duplicated clip so I can see what the cutout clip looks like. Oh wow, that's amazing. Okay, that is pretty good. So what I see is I see there's a little bit of the basket that is remaining. So I'm just gonna simply go back. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna go to green screen and then you can go to, you know, green screen mask and then you're, you can go to edit mask. It's going to take you back to the green screen window and we're going to find those parts of the green screen. I can already see where I, the hoop is selected. So I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how to do exclude. Exclude is basically going to exclude whatever you pick from the mask. So there we go. I can already see that it's been excluded pretty well. When I click on that rim, it is excluded that rim pretty well. We're going to do that. Another thing we can do, I'm going to actually show you this. We can zoom in a little bit if we want to kind of see exactly what it's doing. I'm going to try excluding it one more time. Put another exclude dot there. There we go. And I want to exclude this as well. All right, now it's time to go back. And let's bring this masked clip back over the original footage. I'm going to shift this footage to the right just a tiny bit so that I have the original footage and then I have a, the cut out footage coming right after. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I want this to be delayed a tiny bit more. I'm gonna add one more, one more. So I'm gonna right click on this, I'm gonna do duplicate and I'm gonna stagger it the same amount and then we're gonna now see how it looks. Wow, that's amazing, amazing. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually, I wanna cut this down so it ends right there. We have a nice clean ending. 
And then what I always like to do in Runaway Mail is I love to just shift everything to the beginning. When I'm done and I'm ready to export, I just want to shift everything to the beginning of the timeline. I'm going to line these clips up again so that the edge is flush like so. All right, guys, one last thing. We're going to just do some audio editing. To do this, we're going to click on the plus button and we're going to go and bring in audio called net sound into the audio assets window. We're going to now drag it onto the timeline. Then I'm going to align it so that the sound hits right when the ball hits the metal net. And then I'm going to right click and do duplicate. And then I'm going to place the second net sound where the ball hits the net for the second time. I'm going to do that one last time for the third time that it hits the net. And that's it. Let's play through it. All right, guys, to export, we're again going to go on to the right side of the screen and make sure no clips are selected. Make sure that you're just clicked on the timeline. Scene. Perfect. Make sure you go up to export. And then we can name the video file that we want to export the project to. So let's name this basketball video one. Yeah, we want to export HD. Um, we want the dimensions to be 1920 by 1080. We want the format to be MP4. You can actually export ProRes, which is pretty good. But the tier that I'm currently paying for in Runway ML does not quite allow for that. And that's OK. We're going to just export MP4 for now. We're going to export the video. As you can see, we are now outside of our project in our assets folder. It's in progress. Everything is being exported. If you can't quite tell what happened, once we started exporting out this video file, Runway actually popped this out of our project in SQL, and we're now in our assets folder. And what's happening is this basketball video one video that we're exporting is actually being exported into our assets folder right here. If I were to click on projects, we'd have the option of going back into the project that we're working on right now. But we're going to go back to assets for now. And we're going to wait for this video to be done exporting. All right, my video has been exported. Let's check it out. We can right click on the three dots and actually do download. That was fast. Let's take a look. Open and view. Wow, that was amazing. The intelligence that's baked into the back end of SQL through this green screen feature, which is one of many features that are about to be released just inside of SQL. It's crazy. It's powerful. It's completely changing the world of rotoscoping for the better. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video where I just got to give you a little bit of what Runway ML has to offer. This right here that you have available to you right now is nothing compared to what they have planned. This is very, very simple compared to what is going to be inside this browser based video editing platform in, I would say, the next couple months, if not sooner. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel and please make sure to check out Runway ML. You just have to go to runwayml.com. You can either use it for free. You can pay $35 for a few more perks. You can pay $100 for like the max perks. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.